All right, guys, so this is our workout for today. Start with a warm up, um, any kind of warm up, but getting the joints moving. It's a kind of warm up that I like to do, especially you do this and you're like, oh, crunch, crack, I don't know. And then getting like the hips moving in different directions, getting those knees moving, maybe circling the hips, bringing knees uh -huh. up and down, anything, honestly, anything to just sort of warm up the body. Okay, so what we do is we got 10 minutes to set a timer for 10 minutes, and this is what you do for the full 10 minutes. When it beeps, you're good, you're good to go. So options for move is going to be either a jump squat, don't have to jump, but we'll hear land, jump, small little squats, okay? If you want, you can use your stairs. This is cool, and you can do squats this way. So how many of those do we do, Greg? Those you have eight. We do eight, we do eight squats, okay? Eight yep. squats. Um, jump lunge is another one. So there's choose one of those. Choose your jump squats, choose your uneven squats, choose your lunges, alternating lunges, or jumping lunges. Again, up to you, watch your joints. Your joints are telling you no, listen, okay? So that's, that's it? That's, right? the, that's the first eight reps. That's the first eight reps. So the next eight reps is either a push up or a plank walk. Okay, push up or plank walk. So you can use the stairs, you can do an incline or a decline push up. Maybe you do an incline and you come here, watch they don't whack your head. That was pretty darn close. Or you can do a decline if you like when you do your push up. Be mindful on your push ups. We see a lot of this, okay? So you wanna sort of draw the shoulders back, keep everything nice and flat, tuck those arms in. So eight of those, right? Yep. Or a plank walk. Or a plank walk. So remember the plank walks, you've done that lots, up and down. We see a lot of this too. Yeah, I'm sort of like really rolling through my hips. The core is just kind of moving around. You're still probably holding on, but just try to keep it a little more steady if you can. So just up, up, down, down, okay? That is the next bit of raw, not a good one for working out. Okay, so what's the next one? So it's eight reps of the jump squat combo, yes. eight reps of the one you just did, the plank walk or the push-ups, yeah. and now 15 reps of a core-based move being bicycle crunches. Okay. So we can go here, bicycles. We can go here, use a mat if you want. Draw the belly down so that we're not sort of pushing yeah, everything up. Squeeze it, nice relaxed. You can take your hands in if you want to. Tuck the chin, it's gonna to help to keep that midline connection. Toes up is also gonna help you connect quadricep to the hip flexor. That one feels good if you get a lot of hip crunching. And then just go like this, or twist, twist, twist. But I invite you to slow these down. We tend to go like this, right? <laughs> it's fun, but slow it down. So, so those bicycle or what's the other one, Greg? Or we have the option of doing wipers, so wings of wipers, oh, okay. small okay. little twists. So again, twists. hands can be down, palms can be this way to support the back, feel the shoulders, wipers from one side to the other side. Longer lever with your legs is gonna feel different. Bending, shortening the lever is also going to feel different. Try not to go all the way down and then just kind of lift and go back over. Make sure that you're feeling what is going on. Yep, okay. so you have those three moves non-stop for 10 minutes. Yep. Rest as you need to, but try to rest as little as, as, little as possible. Remember that form is everything, yep. right? Once you've done that set of 10 minutes, you have one to three minutes of rest, and then we have a second set of brand new moves okay. that we'll show you in the next video. All right. See you then. Sounds good.